Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, as per your locations and time zone. I hope you people are doing well. So in today's video, we are going to learn how you can set a grub password. Now, before I can teach you how to set a grub password, let me tell you something about that grub stands for Grand Unified Bootloader. As the name itself is telling you, it is a bootloader that is going to load your bootable files and it is responsible for booting your operating system. Now, sometimes you might lose the root password. And to recover the root password, we have to break into emergency mode. Now, as a responsible person of your operating system, you can go into emergency mode and you can do the necessary things what is required. But guys, the process is so simple that anyone can enter into emergency mode and can do damages to your system. So don't you think that in this scenario, we need an extra layer of protection? And that protection can be by setting grub password. So if you have a grub password at the time of booting, if someone tries to enter or break into your system, they would be asked for the username and password. Now, if they cannot give the username and password, they will not be allowed to boot into emergency mode, right? So that is going to be a very useful stuff. Now, first thing, how can I know? Do I already have a grub password assigned? So I'm already logged into my Linux machine. You can just go and visit boot, sorry, yeah, boot grub2. Now in this boot and grub2, you can find there is a file called user.cfg. Generally, user.cfg file exists when you have a password. So as you see, there is no password. So that is the reason it is not going to have any kind of user.cfg file. Now let me set a new grub password. To set the grub password, you have to use a command grub2 hyphen set password. When you run this command, it asks you to type a password. You can keep whatever password you want. The stronger it is, the better it would be. In my case, I'm going to keep it simple. Suppose I'll keep a password like red hat at the rate 391. You can keep whatever you like. I'm keeping red hat at the rate 391. Now, if you just look out ls boot grub2. Now, when you look into it, you can find that there is a new file available user.cfg. If you just view what is inside it, boot grub2 user.cfg, you will find some encrypted password what is set, right? Now, please don't share this file with anyone. Neither you should open it in front of others. Keep it secret. As a test environment, I showed you, but actually it should be kept secret. Now, in order to apply these changes into your grub config, we need to run this command grub to make config and override the changes into a file boot grub2 grub.cfg. This is the main configuration file for grub. You need to add the information into this file as well. So we don't have to do it manually. When you run this command, automatically grub will be updated with the changes, whatever we have done. Now, once these changes are completed, we'll reboot the machine and we'll try to boot into emergency mode. And let's see whether it will allow us simply or will it going to ask me password. So let's wait a while till it complete. It says done. Now I'm going to reboot my machine. Let's reboot the machine. Now after rebooting, let me view the console. So here you have to press any key. The moment you see the screen, you can press any key like up arrow, 
uh, down arrow left arrow right arrow whichever arrow you want I just press up arrow and you see that your countdown stop and it gave me a choice to enter into now it see there is an option press E to edit the selected item let me try pressing E the moment you press E it is asking you to type the username and password so let me type I want to enter as root and what is the password if I give a wrong password you see again it is going to take me to the same screen again I need to type E I'll type the username as root and the password what I kept red hat at the rate 391 and you see now I can access it now if I don't get access to this I cannot break into emergency mode and I cannot do password recovery another option also so if you want to make your environment more and more secure that nobody should enter even in emergency mode without providing a password then you can go for this particular concept right now I'm not going to disturb anything I'll simply press escape to come back and let me hit enter to continue booting let it boots once it is booted then I'll show you how we can remove the password now in order to remove that password you just need to go and delete user.cfg file now once the file is deleted again update your grub configuration reboot the machine and confirm whether it is still asking for the password or not in a moment my system will complete the booting yes it is let me just connect through putty terminal and restart the session so let me log in up now as you can see if I go to boot and grub2 there is still a file user.cfg so simply remove that file boot grub2 user.cfg once it is done you can say grub2 make config even though if you don't do this also it's fine but I prefer doing this grub2 grub.cfg so that my configuration file should be updated that there is a password removed so let's wait for it to complete it then we are going to reboot the machine one more time and this time we'll try to enter into your kernel arguments and we'll see whether it will still ask for password or not it is taking a little while to complete it let's give it some time it's done let me reboot the machine now as the system is rebooting you'll be getting the countdown 5 4 3 2 1 press any arrow key to stop booting keep the cursor on line number one and try E the moment you try E this time you will realize that it is not prompting for any kind of password so this is the way how you can assign a grub password or change the existing grub password as well or you can remove the grub password in this fashion I hope you enjoyed and learned a new thing in today's class Please like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to us, and do come back for more. Thank you very much, guys, for your time, your patience, and have a nice day.